Hello, my name's Steve. I'm an astronomer at Glasgow Science Centre and welcome to Stargazing in Scotland, introducing you to the night sky from a Scottish perspective. In this video, I'm going to focus in on six well-known and easy to identify constellations so you can go and find them for yourself. The sky changes over the course of a night. As the Earth spins, the stars appear to rise and set. Over the course of a year, as the Earth orbits the Sun, different stars and constellations become visible in different seasons. There are 88 constellations altogether, and from Scotland, some of those are seasonal, only seen in specific months of the year, whereas others are visible all year round. Let's begin in the summer in Scotland with one of the easiest to find summer constellations, Cygnus the Swan. Cygnus the Swan actually looks like its name suggests. It has a long neck that follows the path of the Milky Way, two wings, one on either side, and a tail behind. In the tail of the swan, we find the star Deneb, the brightest star in Cygnus. Deneb is actually one of three stars that make up a pattern known as the Summer Triangle, best seen in Scotland in the summer months. The three stars of the Summer Triangle are actually in three different constellations. So this isn't a constellation on its own, we call this pattern an asterism. Moving from summer to autumn, we're going to look at the constellation Pegasus, the winged horse. Pegasus also has a shape in it, this time a square. Now if you struggle to see a swan when looking at Cygnus, you'll really struggle to see a winged horse when looking at Pegasus. I can usually only just see the four stars of the square. And coming out of the corner of that square is the constellation of Andromeda the Princess, home to the furthest thing you can see with the naked eye, the Andromeda Galaxy. The Andromeda Galaxy is actually quite hard to track down on its own because it is very faint. But you can use another constellation as a signpost to help you find it. That is Cassiopeia. In Greek myth, Cassiopeia the Queen was the mother of Andromeda. The constellation Cassiopeia is made up of five bright stars in a distinct W shape. The right-hand V of that W acts as an arrow that points us to the middle of three stars in the constellation of Andromeda. From that middle star, hop one faint star up and the same distance again, and you find the faint smudge of the Andromeda galaxy, a collection of a trillion stars that is two and a half million light years from us. And it's actually on a collision course. It's hurtling towards our galaxy, the Milky Way. But don't panic, it's not going to hit us for another few billion years. Moving from autumn into winter, we find one of the most spectacular constellations visible in Scotland, Orion the Hunter. Orion has three stars and a belt, two stars for his shoulders, two for his feet. He has a curve of stars for a shield and a sweep of stars above his head as a club. The left hand star of its shoulders is a star called Betelgeuse. It's got a very distinct orange-red colour, and that's because Betelgeuse is a dying star. It's running out of hydrogen fuel, and as it does so, it's expanding, cooling down, and turning red. Any day now, Betelgeuse will explode in what we call a supernova explosion, lighting up the sky. Now, you should be suspicious, astronomers, when we say any day now for us. That's sometime in the next million years. Probably won't happen tonight, probably won't happen next week, but sometime in the next million years, Betelgeuse will go back. As winter fades into spring, we leave Orion behind, but we find another famous constellation, Leo the Lion. Leo is quite a bit fainter than Orion, but it's still easy to find in Scotland because of the distinct backwards question mark shape that makes up the head of the lion. If you can find this bright backwards question mark, the dot at the bottom is a star called Regulus, the brightest star in Leo. I've talked about seasonal constellations, Let's now focus in on one visible all year round, Ursa Major, the Great Bear. It's in Ursa Major that we find the asterism known as the Plough or the Big Dipper. It makes up the hindquarters and tail of the bear. From the tail of the bear, you can follow an arc down through the sky in the spring months in Scotland to find the bright star Arcturus in the constellation of Bootes the Herdsman. There are also two stars in the Plough that point towards the North Star. They are known as the pointers because they help us find north. There are many other amazing patterns and stories amongst the stars. I hope you enjoy discovering some of them in Scotland. 
download our Stargazing in Scotland pack for activities you can do at home. Watch our other Stargazing in Scotland videos to find out what else is up there. But it's only a matter of waiting for clear skies, heading outside and looking up there.